Hello, I'm Joe from Wacom, and I'm going to walk you through installing the driver and setting up your Cintiq 12 WX pen display. Most Cintiq 12s are used in a dual monitor configuration, or in other words, with another display. Remember, all laptop computers include a display, so whether you're using your Cintiq 12 with a larger desktop monitor or with a laptop computer, you have two displays. The easiest way to think of the Cintiq 12 is as two devices. It is a display and a pen tablet. They just happen to be combined in a single product. Now, let's get started setting up your Cintiq 12. First, make sure everything is turned off, your computer and your Cintiq. Now, let's take a look at the connections. You have a single cable that comes out of the back of the Cintiq. This connects to the video converter box that came with your Cintiq. This cable carries both the video signal as well as the tablet data to the computer. Plug this into the converter box. From the converter box, you'll need either the DVI or the VGA cable, depending on which video connection you have at the back of your computer. Plug the USB cable into the converter box as well as the power cable. You'll use the VGA cable, which is the blue and white connection, if you have a VGA or analog connection at the back of your computer. You'll use the cable with white connections at both ends if you have a digital or what's called DVI connection. The nice part of this is that most computers are color coded at the back. Connect your video connection to the appropriate port at the back of your computer. Plug the USB cable into the converter box and the other end directly to the computer. A direct connection provides the most stable power and communication. Plug the cable from the power adapter into the converter box and the cable plugs into the wall as well. Confirm that the light on the power supply is on. At this point, turn on the Cintiq and confirm that you have a power light there as well. Turn on your computer. This order ensures that the computer sees the Cintiq as an attached display during startup. If you're on a Mac, the Cintiq should come up and show the same background as your Mac display, but nothing else. This is normal. If you're on a PC, you may need to enable the second monitor in the display settings. Just right-click anywhere on your desktop and select Properties. In Vista, you'll right-click on the desktop and select Personalize, then select Displays. Now choose the Settings tab. If one monitor is grayed out, right-click that monitor and choose Attached. Then click Apply. Now, to see which monitor is which, there's an Identify button. You should see a 1 on your primary display and a 2 on your Cintiq. All that really matters here is that you know which is which. Now choose the Cintiq monitor and look at the screen resolution. Make sure it's set to 1280 by 800. This is the native resolution of the Cintiq and it's always going to look best at this resolution. Let's get the tablet portion of the Cintiq running. You may notice that the pen will already move the pointer on the tablet but you still need to install the driver for proper functionality. You're welcome to use the driver from the CD that came with the Cintiq, but I always recommend going to our website to grab the most recent driver. Wacom releases new drivers to introduce new features and addresses reported issues, so the latest driver is usually going to be the best. Before you install the driver, make sure all of your applications are closed. If you're running any antivirus software, I recommend disabling it. If you're unfamiliar with disabling antivirus software, you may need to consult the software manual or help for the software you use. From the website, click on the Driver Downloads link, then select the most recent driver. Select Primary Download. On a Mac, as soon as the download finishes, double-click the Wacom Tablet DMG file. That should automatically open a folder with several language files. In it, you will need to double-click the file called Install Tablet PKG. From here, just click Continue to all the questions, and the driver should install without a hitch. To install the driver on a PC, you'll need to double-click the downloaded file and select Setup. If you're running Windows XP, Service Pack 2, or earlier, you will receive hardware wizards. Do not interact with them. They will go away on their own, and interacting with them will only cause problems down the road. Once the driver is installed, the pen should map to the Cintiq display, meaning when you get the pen close to the display, you can control the cursor under the pen. The cursor may not be exactly where you want it. It's even possible that the cursor will appear on the other display. At this point, that's okay. 
You just need to calibrate it in the Wacom Tablet Properties under the Pen tab. If you have questions about how to do this, please check out the video on calibrating your Cintiq and our other videos online at Wacom.com.